We have a final story here tonight about reaching for the stars. It takes some folks a lifetime and a few false starts to figure out their true calling. But there are others who find it starting at a young age simply by looking skyward. Tonight's story about following your passion from NBC's Harry Smith. A robotics tournament at a junior high in Baton Rouge, where it's cool to be nerdy and fun to compete. The future is all over the floor here. Scientists, engineers, problem solvers. And if 13-year-old Alyssa Carlson has her way, the first astronaut to Mars. I guess I just love space just because it's a curiosity of what's out there. And, you know, I've always looked at it as, like, that's someplace we need to explore. It's, you know, it's in our genes to explore as humans. Alyssa is a space prodigy. She's been obsessed with the red planet since she was little. How old was Alyssa when she said, Daddy, I'm going to go to Mars? Three years old. A passion her father, Bert, has indulged and nurtured with summers of travel to all manner of space camps and visits to every single NASA facility. She's got E.T. in her blood. I mean, there's something calling her to that planet. You like wearing that suit, don't you? I love wearing my suit. It kind of like represents everything I've done, NASA wise. Alyssa combines the whimsy of a 13 year old with the wisdom of a space pro. That's Alyssa doing a TED talk. It is now time for us to explore beyond this planet. And when folks in Washington wanted to discuss Mars travel, they brought in some PhDs and yes, Alyssa. When you go to all these NASA facilities and you say, I want to go to Mars, I want to be. I want to be on that Mars mission. What did they say to you? You know what? We're building your rocket for you. Yes, NASA is still in the space business and will test its new Orion spacecraft next month. A Mars mission, they say, could be a reality in about 20 years. And we know someone who will be ready. Harry Smith, NBC News, Baton Rouge.